Are you ready for some free-forming, organic, intuitive experimenting with your art? I hope so because I have a page packed with layers of play for you today and a bit of a warning, it's going to get messy. <laughs> we actually don't know if we're going to get a finished piece out of it, but hey, that doesn't matter, does it? So let's discover if it will turn into something together. Now I'm trying out some different materials on my page. This is a page in my junk journal and you can see it's already started on some leftover paint from a project long, long, long time ago. I don't even remember. Now as we work through the video, I've flagged up what I'm using as we go along, but you'll also find the materials listed in the description below underneath the video as always. So go grab some paints, keep an open mind, let's make some messy art and release our art fears and yeah, let's just get playing.
little butterflies from that washi tape just sort of peek out from this, this finished piece. So I just happen to have some washi tape with these little butterflies on it, but if you don't or you don't have other washi tape that you can use instead, you could always add in little pictures cut from a magazine. That would look really cool there, wouldn't it? Or some of your own doodles, your own sketches would look great there too. And they were put on quite early on, so you want to make sure that if you are doodling and sketching there, that you do it with a material that's not going to smear as you put more layers over the top. So a paint pen or something like that will be perfect for this. And you can see there were lots and lots of play in this one. And it's just about being free to make marks, make a mess, and not worry about it, not have any expectations, and just experiment. Just play around, see what we'll do. And I, I love the mix of pencil and paintwork in the different layers. That was really fun to experiment with. And I used a water reactive pencil, so the, there's just so many different things you can do with a water reactive pencil. I mean, you can use it dry, you can use it wet, and you can do sort of things from its own sort of mark making or from scraping back the acrylic paint that you've got on there. So yeah, lots of things to try out. And hopefully you picked up on all of those as we went along, but do scroll back, take another look and fill up on all the ideas and techniques that you might want to go and try next when you're doing your next junk journal page or other project. So if you did get some value out of this video, please do like it, comment and share. You know, the usual YouTube-y sort of things. And of course, have fun watching some more. Thanks so much for watching this one and I'll see you next time.